Turn that mic down. Oh, welcome oh. back. All right, Good guys. Time. Welcome back. We've got two people I've never heard of. Chris G and just. I think his name is Chris G123. Just, Justin Wang. Wang, I think. Yeah, Justin Wang. Very nice. Sponsored by Evil Geniuses. So they picked up a new player, Justin Wang. Oh, yeah, Wang. Gamester Gear. That's the headphone company. Gamester Gear, Chris G. All right. Both players going Chris to be using Shape Wolf. Chris G one, will be two. the one that's pink and ugly. Yes. And full of cancer. <laughs> there it is. No. He's, he's forgetting the color. Oh. Oh, he's trolling. He's thinking about it. Oh, okay, color mix-ups. I All like right. it. All right, got the pink fingernails going on. I like that. I don't know if I've seen these two play. I've never seen Justin Wong and Chris G play yeah. uh, Chris this G's game, at least. Chris G's a very safe player. And Justin, of course, will also safe in this game. Yeah, his play Justin is probably the most patient player I think this game has right now. That's it. Chris G, the white wolf. No, sorry, J Wong, the white wolf. And this and this is exactly what we're talking about. I mean, they're, they're both content to just fight this space out and until one of them gets and the hit. And it's so strange because they will be such it's an aggressive character. It's not that type of character, exactly. Right. All right, so I guess you could call it first blood, but not really. There we go. Justin strikes first. All damage, only 10%. Chris G's turn. He's going for a longer combo. Got the lockup, but short cuts it short. And the unblockable right there. Big block. There's the punish. Chris G, and again, there we go. Using the crouching heavy uh, manual. Yeah, he's been practicing that. He's starting to hit it a lot. Oh, nice punish. Very nice with punish on that grab Chris, Chris G. G. Yeah, wow. All right, I was wrong. Justin Wong is not a favorite to win this tournament. It appears that my Chris mind. G is the new favorite. Oh, yeah. After just sure. one life bar. <laughs> yeah. A dominating life yeah. bar, mind you. Oh, nice. Neutral jump from Justin. And here we go. He's got to make something happen here on the uh, Oki game, but he doesn't. Chris G just backs out. Uh, very patient again. Yeah, they're just feeling each other out. This is, you know, mirrors are usually weird, but this one is even more awkward because sometimes you lose track of where your character is because they're so fast. I mean, this is a real test of patience, and Justin yeah. loses it first. He goes in, but he connects. Oh, misses the manual that Chris was so consistently hitting. Wow. And okay. trying to hit buttons after the running uppercut. Right. That is minus one on block. Chris knows his frame data, apparently. Justin making a comeback here. Very nice. And just goes straight for the grab. Nice patience. Again, instant cancel this time, though. Nice. Oh, hits with the overhead to a medium manual, but misses. And drops the link that time. Jumping and slash instantly was very yeah. nice. Any damage right now, Chris gets is free. Because oh, yeah. he's on a pixel, he's going to lose that life bar eventually. Oh. I was going to say, I like what he's doing here because he had instinct, so any chip damage is going to be yeah. extra. Why not? He's going to get another instinct. And, this and we may have a timeout here. Down to 37 seconds already. And that's crazy because I, I don't think I've ever seen a timeout in KI yet. I mean, I've seen timeout, but I have never seen it with two, two stable wolves. Yeah. Nice frame traps with nice presence of mind from Justin to counter. Got him. And just go straight All for light. Flat, mix up. Oh. Nice. Oh, he's just went the rabbit middle. That was very interesting. Put the lockdown and again. And then Justin they cancel for the manual. Very nice. Well, so get another mix up. Chris didn't break any of those lights. Danger. Oh, he got him. Wow. And after that long, long, slow start. It was start, just over. Justin rushed him down in 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, Justin Wong is the favorite to win this tournament. I, to I still think Grimms is the favorite. Next but Justin next Wong. Two. We got this. Chris got the neutral jumps oh himself, no. though. No. Nice. Perfect combo for the lockout time. Oh. Nice again. Late eclipse from Justin, and he gets pegged for it. Nice Woo! break. Very nice break. And that's going to win. Perfect jump. Oh, no. Not like this. Good nice tech. tech. You know, I've learned after playing Chris G, not only in Injustice, but KI, it's impossible to grab him. You're wrong. It's so hard to grab You're him. You're wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. Okay, so hard. I like that. Much better. Justin, too. Like, trying to grab Justin is, is a hassle. Good block by Chris. Instant cancel by Justin. Got to make it safe. And he gets another hit. All right. 
Just along any of combos with the sweep, they can get a safe jump in yeah. as a mix up. Which is kind of awkward because he doesn't really have a very good jumping attack. But that's the setup right there. Yeah. Justin Wong. Wow, perfect range. Oh okay. no. Got a little overzealous with that one, and he's gonna pay for it and lose his life. Oh, oh he's not dead. Uh it was Okay. Chris G deciding oh, not boy. to press any buttons and, and again all this damage is free right now. Yeah, wow, Justin making him pay. And this is all because he just oh. did do one extra hit before to get a kill. I feel like Justin was just trying to get a little more damage on the mix-up. A nice block from Chris. Yeah, and really good presence of mind of Justin to even yeah. think that he was still alive there. Absolutely. Neutral jumps to grab. Surprising that he didn't use meter for the uh, shadow counter. Yeah, Chris has instinct. He needs to pop it soon. Maybe as soon as he gets the combo. He's going to pop it right here. There it is. Yeah, Chris definitely in trouble. Ooh, and that that's should be it. Game. Ultra, done. So Justin Wong now two up on Chris G. I mean, it's not that he's you know destroying Chris. They're actually really even. It's just like critical mistakes right. that are putting Chris under, and then he's making more mistakes on top of that. Right. And the way these players are playing, basically any one mistake leads to about forty yeah. percent damage, and that's saveable for you. But neither player really trying to break combos. No. You know, both of them letting the damage kind of sit through. None of them want to risk the counter breaker. I think I've seen two lockouts in the last two sets. Oh, yeah. And that's it. Nice completion there from Chris, but both players going right back to that neutral game. Oh, oh nice I mix like up. It. I like it. Fortunately, I don't like the combo. Out, yeah. <laughs> and there's a breaker. Nice. And that's going to work. Whoa. No thank you, sir. Heavy manual, easy to see. Not today. To be fair, I mean, he did use the same manual three times. Well, he's been mixing it up with the yeah. uh, light of the meter, but I'm not sure which one, actually. But he has been mixing it up, actually. There's a lockout. He's heavies right here. He's going to have to end it, though. Nice overhead. Oh, no. It's so rare to see Kirchi try to break Shadow Attack. Yeah. He's been practicing, maybe. I was wrong, by the way. He does have an Xbox. He just finally got a controller. Yeah, he told issue. me. He told me he finally started practicing like a week before this event. The real question now is why he didn't go with the pink tape rule. Yeah, Chris G usually going with his signature disease wow, dog. If he had just ended it there, that would have been a life bar. So two matches in a row now. He's left Justin alive at the end there. Yeah. This time he at least didn't hurt him too badly. Big whip. Punish? No. Oh, no punish. Yeah, he had backdash right as that started, so it didn't work out for him. Oh. I do like the music of the stage. I'm just going to throw that out there. Yeah, a lot of the music is just exhaustive, especially the theme music. Both players patiently spacing each other again. Yeah, this is, this is... No one really wants to go first. Yeah, Justin has a slight life lead, but it's not going to matter when it comes down to the last couple seconds of the match. Both players have instinct. Oh, no. And he's locked in. He should instant cancel here, I think. I agree with you 100%. Or even right there. That's going to hit a little bit. Chris getting a juggle. He needs to activate instinct before it's actually too late. That's going to trade. Yep. Got him. Instant oh. cancel. Nice. Oh, oh no! no! And that was his chance, and this is going to be it. And Justin Wong, 3-0. Takes it 3-0. So know. kind of a similar story. I mean, Injustice was all 3-0 for the most part, or 0-2 comebacks, and KI is basically following suit. I mean, it's crazy because we have really good players going yeah. up against one another. It's just the sets have just been going yeah. very one-sided. And it's, it's, it is one-sided as far as the numbers was like 3-0, but I mean, they're not terrible blow-ups. It's just... One player is edging it out every set over the other. It's a blow up. You're a blow up. You're a blow up. I'm a blow up? We're going to go to commercial. That's all right. All right. We'll see you guys soon.